I wasn't Bro, saying. Enough. Deep, okay, dude. I'm just watching your conversation. Yeah, you're just you're phone initial you're correction you're on you're every you're point, dude. What are you about? Acting, it's Bro, not my thing. Like, why are you well, going about bread tube, old man? What has bread tube got to do with this? This is like I'm basic interaction. Right. having a conversation. yourself are you mate i want to correct you all right oh I, God, I, here's the thing i didn't say that hoping somebody else would get it i said it in the context if you're going to say this here and you're wrong because i can't recall it but i'm pretty sure i remember it differently the commentators will find it i wasn't Bro, saying ain't that fucking deep okay, dude i'm just watching your conversation you you're, just you're, you're, initial you're, correction you're, on every you're, point dude what you're, are you acting, about? you're acting like i'm in a debate like i should have i should be prepared for this debate this is a, co a personal conversation between two people it's not like me trying to get him you know, so I'm not, I didn't oh go into God, this dude. unprepared. <laughs> all I'm saying no. is, look, all, my personal belief is if you're going to mm. speak to someone and you're going to bring a point up on their actions, specifically bring that up, it's just worth being prepared. That's it. It's not a oh, massive I criticism. Guess, I'm not going to go like, at you. It's just a simple I know criticism. you're not having, I'm not that mad at you, first of all. Okay. So <laughs> it's just, I'm not like, I, you're taking me the wrong way. I'm yelling for effect. But, you know, it, it, I, I'm not going into this. Having we're having a conversation. People don't conversate like they're on fucking bread tube, and I don't either. It's Bro, not my thing. Like, why are you well, going about fucking bread tube, old man? What has bread tube got to do with this? This is like I, basic interactions and right. having a conversation and proving someone has said something. Uh, it's not about proving anything. That's my whole point. You just proved my point. We're not proving anything. We're having a conversation. I remember it differently, but I don't have it in front of me. So at least I have the decency to say, uh, say you're not wrong. I just can't remember it. I remember it differently. And remember, there's other people watching this. That's all I said. Okay, but okay. Listen, dude. BreadTube isn't the only place where people have rational conversations, okay? Like, that's one example. Well, it's, not like a ra it's not about ra rational conversation. I'm talking I know, about it's not a rational conversation because you're fucking using, drunk I'm, in this combo. I'm using, I, well, that's probably true, but I'm not in this one. And <laughs> um, <laughs> no, I, it's not about bread. I'm using bread proofs for like uh, just speech expedience. Like that, that whole, let's have a debate. Let's have it really fair. Let's have all these fucking rules and what have you. I think that's ridiculous for a show, at least my show. Anyway, other people do it. I get it. It's fine. Uh, Destiny's made a career of it. I don't like that. I am anti that. I'm just, that's what I'm saying. So I, I'm getting held to a standard by you that I'm not even trying to keep myself. Okay, right, okay. I feel like you're overstating what I'm doing here, right? You're saying I'm holding you to a standard, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All I'm doing is watching the conversation and, and just saying, you could even argue it's personal preference. You know, if you're going to bring up a point against someone, it's worth having it ready there so you can show it to them. If well, I disagree. suppose. And you're saying you're not having the conversation. That's fine. Okay. But well, why do you feel the need is... to immediately call in and like correct the record, bro? You're going insane. What is wrong they, with you? Oh, man. You're making it sound like I'm, like, you're making it seem like, you're making it seem, to me, you're making it seem like it, it's something it isn't. That's what I'm saying. Okay, it's okay, not a debate. Okay. This is a conversation. If you ever have a conversation with people uh, and and somebody says, uh, "Oh, Kerry Kane scored so many goals that year," I don't remember. I think it was third. I think it was twenty one that year. Uh, but I don't have it in front of me. But I'm pretty sure it's true. That's all I said. Okay, so you're approaching That's, this with the perspective of having a heart to heart with Tippy. Yes, yes, right. yes, and I okay. want to make that abundantly clear because I'm very drunk and I'm probably going to do something stupid. Well, so now you're day. drunk now. No, on that, okay. <laughs> that thing. I've got him like seven or eight deep on that one. Jesus Christ. Okay, and no I'm, worries. I am emotional. Like, it, it is true. I, I'm really upset. You know, like this guy did me dirty. He never fucking came clean. And now he's coming clean now because he's got a little, little cloud over Bobax. Yeah, I wanted to point it out. And I didn't okay. scream and yell at him or anything. Right. I, I, that one thing I will say on this that I will give you, you know, kind yeah. of a, a point for if you like is... I know that you obviously had issues with how Tipster was dealt with previously, and that was never mm. really addressed. And mm. then before you know it, Tipster was out, and th then that yeah. was it. But now he's kind mm. of sniffing about and like trying to be friendly with people, and uh, in my opinion, trying to take the heat off himself, but he's not mm. really accounting for the shit he did to I think I do a really good job of pointing that out in this. Okay. And I think I do it better than rather than going after him on a Vosh or a Keffels by making it personal. I want to make it about his character, so let's talk personally, because that's when you show most of your character. I think I do a really good job on this. So there you go. Well, wow. So you think you yourself do a good job? Wow. So you you would say that? Well, you know, in this case, I don't, I don't always do a good job. I had a bad like <laughs> debate, if you want to call it, like last week. But um, like yeah, I think I did a good job here because I, I like I because I made it personal and because this was a fuck off stream and that's this, this thing, and, and I wanted to get this shit off my chest for years.
So he called in and I told him right off the bat, I am going to give you some lumps. And I think I do a pretty good job of showing that. So you got to come up. My, my whole point with, the, with cutting it and putting it out there, because I don't cut everything, um, is you got to decide whether he's redeemable or not. If, if Is this genuine or is this him trying to get back in a community because he bumps from Medicare's to our community to the trans community? That's the whole point. That's the whole message. So so, so you're, are you genuinely concerned that Tipster is trying to get back in with people? Is that your belief? <sighs> I, I don't know. I, like, yeah, at some level. But then I heard you used to say before, it sounded a little more logical. I'll be honest with you. I didn't think of it this way, that he's just trying to get people off his back. That might be true, too. I didn't think of that. Yeah, yeah, no, no, sure. I mean, it could be, it could be either. Yeah. I guess time will tell. Okay, that's yeah. what, uh, you know, well, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Too bad. That's the way I feel. Like, time will tell. Yeah. I mean, look, anybody, you like, never leave the commentary community unless you stop doing commentary. He never did. You know, I always thought, I thought that was, like, ridiculous. So it, it, the way I feel is like, all right, I'm going to talk to him about this personal stuff instead of saying, call, just call him a, a pedophile or, or a trans thing or something like that. I don't know all the ins and outs. I didn't pay much attention to it. My attitude towards all, Nick and Bobax for the time is like, well, you let him in. You look the other way on this guy, too. You know, when I said he was no fucking good. So you get what you get. And uh, what, what did they get? They made thousands of dollars goofing on him. <laughs> you know, uh, that was my whole attitude at the time. That's why I didn't really like. I, I didn't really, I didn't do a lot of streams on Tipster. I only did them when Tipster was at his locale zenith. Yeah. You know, so this is, I wanted to show it. Like, I thought talking about these issues would reveal his character because they're personal a lot more than if I caught him uh, contradicting himself in a Vosh debate or a Vosh defense. That's exactly why I did this. Because I, A, I don't care about that other stuff. When I say that's bread tube, I'm just using that whole this side of the internet that does everything with the panels and the debates, which I don't particularly like. I'm not into it. And it doesn't mean you can't be into it or somebody else can't be into it. It's just not my thing. I wanted to do something different. And that's why the interview is totally fucking different. Okay, well, I'll tell you what I'll do, Tommy, okay? I'll take that into account, okay? Thank you. No worries. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I wanted. Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay. You're a good man. Take care. Catch you later. Bye-bye. Bye. <laughs> Bro, that was... <laughs> Oh, Tommy's just old fashioned. Okay, guys, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. Okay, obviously, I'll take it into account. I'm still going to give my perspectives based on my views and beliefs about things. And if Tommy's got an issue with it, we can speak again or he can respond in his own stream. But I think we're going to be okay. All right, the bridge is still intact. Don't worry, guys. <laughs>